since I have recently been informed that the server is going to be reset, which is unfortunate, um, figured I'd do a little walk around of the city. Um, let's see, that'd be a good spot to start. I mean, here's my my shack, the MC DO oh, DOA. With all that's all the food. <laughs> Because everyone was starving to death a while back. <clears throat> Let's see. So we got like the shopping, shopping center in here. <laughs> the military building. Yeah, it was a very small settlement. That was our like homeless shelter essentially. There used to be just like a dirt shack, so we upgraded it. Because after the incident, we had a massive homeless population. Oh yeah, here's the Department of Corrections box of shame. If you stole anything, you had to, had to stay in that box. There's the castle. I'm way back. That thing can't was here when we first moved in. And I guess they're never gonna finish that the, the like actual building of the government. This is the this homeless shelter. A bunch of people lived here. Um, Let's see, what, what, what's, what's some other good stuff around this place? Because, I mean, I have some ideas on where I should go next. Like, there's an actual shop right in here. Those are kind of the original OG shopping center. You know, there's some pretty nice houses out and about. Um, there's a boat, for no reason. Let's see, I'm going to work my way around the outside of that main building. Because then, not really sure where this came from right here, but... Then you kind of make your way into this, like the agricultural district, uh, right along this little wall here. So it's a very nice, very nice zone. I'm a very big fan of it. So like, there's like this, the, there's the downtown area, I guess. Like kind of the central areas here, and this is like another downtown. So you get this like nice little like waterfall. I got a boat. Okay, that's the first time I've ever stepped in water. Apparently, but this is the Department of Agriculture and the URFS base of operations. Right in here, and it looks like a pretty nice, just tiny, oh, there, just tiny little settlement. You know, nothing to look at, really. That's the thing. Holland City had this massive, and I mean massive, underground industrial complex. Unfortunately, it's been scrapped. Uh, but it, it was huge. And this is, this is just the front, this is the first, like, original OG floor, I guess. Then I came to my building area. So this is, like, kind of the, the farms. This supplied most of the food for most of the time, essentially. But then we have this. This was the wood farm. And oh my goodness, I gotta tell you, that was so much wood. We had some mines down there. Ooh, well, I should probably show that. This is part of the industrial complex. I'm a, I'm a big fan of this area. I like spent most of my time on the server down here. You pop out down here, like all oh, this is mined out. But um, honestly, I'm a big fan of the fact that like we... Like, this server's really old. I think they're resetting it soon, which is why I'm doing this, like, little walk around. Um, because there's some serious history just in this, like, you know, small industrial area that me and some other kids lived in. That were just, like, you know, farming. We were just going around, doing whatever we wanted to, really. We were just kind of, you know, just building down here. Let's see, it should be down here somewhere. Yeah, there's the, there's the exit. It, you know, it was it was really really fun. Like I got I hang out with people down here. Basically, just meet a bunch of other farmers. But then this was this area we didn't we didn't really know what was down here or why. So covered in vines when we first found it, and you know they built a water elevator down here, but it's just covered in vines all over the place. I think they removed most of them from like actually using the vines, but. Again, just another example of the history of this place, is we're not the first faction who settled here. Um, this is one of the... This is like the second hand... Um, stuff. So this is where I lived for most of my time here. I think the bed's still probably in here somewhere. Nope. But yeah, this is pretty much where I stayed. This was like the original tree farm. You know, we had these big, beautiful towers here. Honestly, I really, I was a big fan of that design. Oh, this building? This building was really cool. Um, so, this, again, this was like the agricultural area. It used to be like a chicken farm over Yeah, there still is. But also, they built past here. There used to be like a 
giant tree farm here, so they built a bunch of like um, housing again to fix the issue from you know the crisis, the the incident I guess you could call it. Um, I haven't really been over here very much. You got mail. Oh, I forgot this area had a mail service. But it was really fun. Let's see. Okay, so yeah, this, this was like a really nice zone in my opinion. I, again, I hadn't really been over here. I just, I just didn't like develop over time. But like, yeah, all that nice. Like, it, it was just a really nicely decorated zone, like the downtown region, because it was like, you know, it was newer. The downtown region would like, well, up to, like the uptown region, I guess you could call it, with like the castle and stuff. There's like a lot of older builds down there. This was the second one, zone B. And, you know, it, it was a pretty solid... Again, like, we had this big wall going down, so like kind of a... What's it called? I forgot the name of it. Retaining wall, that's what it was. So it kind of looks cool. Let's see, so then... Shrine. We got a shrine right there, shrine to one of the staff members. Oh yeah, the Department of uh, Resources. They really did dig, dig this out since last time. The Department of Resources, I'm a big fan of them. We had a collab once time. Actually, build like this. Um, that was really fun. I see they definitely finished their digging. Let's see. Watchtower. Again, I, I was a big fan of what was there. Actually, I'm going to go down there. I saw some stuff. Hold up. Yeah, there used to not be a fence. You would just fall off the edge. Like, what is down here? Dang. Someone was building something down here. Oh, are they going to build, like, a cactus farm? Bro, I have no idea what I'm looking at right now. Well, that's cool, I guess. Yeah, Department of Resources was always, uh... I was always a big fan of them. Even if they're a little questionable, like, whatever that was down there. Made some interesting moves every once in a while. Yeah, I think the biggest thing, I think, in my opinion, that the Department of Resources that was like really cool that they did um, was the like homeless shelter because again the incident and I'll re I'll like talk about that in a second. Hold up. Police state. When did we get a police? I haven't been on it like a month, but it's pretty cool, I guess. Ooh, new building over here. Again, this is kind of partial just me exploring the new zone before the server gets reset. What is it? The Future Casino, okay. Yeah, there's a lot of really cool stuff. We got we got a shrine over here. Got a prophecy. But you have to buy the book. Nah, I'm not doing that. Not right now. Do I even have that? Actually, I do have that much money, but I'm not going to do it. Um, let's see. Yeah, I've already kind of explored. Oh yeah, homeless shelter. Oh, I actually already, I already went over there, but that was like the coolest thing they built. They got a lot of their resources from that pit. Built this big homeless shelter for all the people. Which, again, I've been talking over and over. We have a broken record about the incident. Basically, before it was called Hansa, we had Crusadon. And the looter was Luca FSB. And honestly, he was a pretty good leader. We got up to like 35 people with just him. And most of these builds are from the like Luca or like, uh, I guess Crusadon era. And there's a final battle that was, happened out when this was just a big field. No props or anything. Um, and what happened was um, there was a bit of a revolution. So Luca wanted to declare war from, I think, what, the Raider Plagos or something? Um, but no one was behind him on it. Um, cause we were a very, we were still a very weak settlement at the time. We hadn't built this, like, downtown area up as nice as it had been. We didn't have as much food. Uh, we were still kind of, like, very supported by them. And honestly, they hadn't really done anything to us. It's a very good government. Like, we were, we weren't really being oppressed or anything. So it was kind of out of the blue that he just kind of wanted to declare revolution against, like, a pretty nice overseeing government. So he got into a shouting match with his second in command. And let's just say he said some interesting things that just so happened to be in global chat that may or may not have gotten him banned within like 10 minutes. Um, personally, that's not 
I'm not a big fan of that. Not a great way to go out, Luca. You could have just surrendered and you know, you'd still be on the server. I mean you'd probably get you probably wouldn't be in power anymore, but here lies Luca, last rebel of Holland Crees. You know. This was his grave. This is where he died, supposedly. And it got destroyed once, but we decided to rebuild it. Me and the department, me and like a bunch of other departments that had been appointed by Luca, mainly me and like the, the Department of um, Agriculture, Department of Resources, and I think the Department of Defense or whatever, um, got together and we made this little shrine for him. Because even though he kind of didn't do super well in the end, he was a good leader while he didn't start swearing in chat. So yeah, that's the the incident. The issue was Luca, out of the fit of rage after that shouting match, disbanded Crusadon, which is why we had such a big homeless population. Is all of the subclaims got destroyed, which means everyone was like getting robbed, and losing their houses, and it just kind of sucked overall. So that's why they built this. A lot of people lived here. I think up until now, honestly. Because the newer government didn't do a very good job at, you know, doing subclaims. Um, yeah, so, that was pretty funny. Not Luca's spooky ghost. I mean, I think Luca did actually end up getting unbanned after a couple months, but... Yeah, I mean, it, it's a nice, it's a nice little area. Uh, I'm gonna miss it, honestly, because... Even though I haven't really been on it for a while, it's still a really cool area. Honestly, I'm pretty proud of my contributions too, because I, I, my goal from the very get go was to get food, like the food production revolution. Because there's tons of people starving early on. There wasn't much space for farming, and we were kind of running low on two things: wood and, um, wood, yeah, wood and just food in general. Um, so I built this building right here. I was gonna produce all the wood and the food that anybody ever needed ever. And honestly, I think I succeeded. I did a very nice job, in my opinion, of spreading food to the masses. And even though that's probably that's gonna be over now, because uh, the server's gonna get reset, um, I succeeded in my goal. I built Zone B, and that, from the looks of it, fed a lot of good, like a lot of people. A lot of, probably a lot of good causes, so. I'm pretty proud of it, honestly. Because. Honestly, I, I think the settlement did pretty well. For all things considered, with all the. Like, uh, incursions that could have happened. I wonder if I bet you there's a secret door behind this. Okay, no. That's sad. I wonder if Patrick's house is still here. Hey, where even was Patrick's house? Was it like one of these? I think it was one of these plots that never got constructed. Oh, wait, this was Patrick's house, I remember. I think it was. Oh, this building is here, but it looks pretty cool. Oh, that's a wall, okay. Yeah, so... That's Crusadon slash Holland City slash whatever you want to call it at this point. For probably the last time, honestly. Because it's going to get reset within the month, as far as I've heard. Which kind of sucks, honestly. Okay, here's the underground entrance. Yeah, there used to be these walls inside the city. One, one of which ran right down this, right down this street, which is why this is here. From like the various boundaries that we had. Oh, I swear, every time I'd hit those bushes, at least one. Okay. Building arena. Yeah, honestly, sad to see it go, but I hadn't really been on much anyway. So I figured I'd make this video about it. It's pretty cool. And I'm 
like that was a part of it. So let's head all the way back to the center. I gotta say, this view has changed a lot since I first joined. There used to be a wall running around here because that was the what the southernmost border of this of this entire city right there, right and right down that line. And that was kind of the, the watchtower, I guess. Honestly, I think we did a very good job, because again, during the incident, Luca destroyed a lot of the buildings, including that castle, and we fully rebuilt it, down to the block, which, honestly, it's great, so, I guess that'll be where I sign off for this one.